Hi, my name is Chris Morafi, and in this video, you'll get a preview of the kind of rigging and coding techniques that are taught in my new book, Mail Scripting a Character Rig in Maya. When you buy the book, there are companion files that you can download for both Windows Maya 2008 and Macintosh Maya 2008, as well as 2009. You must place those files in particular directories on your system to make sure that the scripts can access them correctly. Place the Maya files as well as all the main script files in a main book directory either on your C drive or in your user drive and then place the setup rig script which sources all of those files in your main Maya scripts directory. When you open the Maya file that uh, comes with the book, it will automatically find that script, source all the other scripts, and run the demo rig that is taught in the book. Now the coding techniques that you're going to learn are, s are general coding techniques like procedures and variables and arrays, and all of those are geared towards creating a complex character rig in Maya. Here inside of Maya, you open up the setup file and you can see that it has actually a basic rig in there. It's an FK rig uh, that is used to generate the more advanced IK rig. All you have to do is fit that rig and the polygon bones inside of any skin and it will create a rig for it in a matter of seconds. Uh, once you set up the directory for the files and everything, you can run through the setup rig GUI to create the rig. You b once you bind it, you can see that when you select the different parts of the rig and move it around, that it's bound and that it has custom controls in the channel box. Um, you can see that there are some automatic things moving. There's a spline IK backbone, as well as IK on the arms and legs. Here you've got a backbend control, which is driven through set driven keys. You've got shoulder controls. You've got controls on the hand for uh, rotating the wrist as well as all of the fingers. All of these things will be taught in the book in both the interface as well as through mail scripting. In this case all of these things were created by the scripts. Now once you go through and you uh, try out the different controls in the demo rig, um, you want to go ahead and start learning how to do these things in Maya. Here you can see I'm just moving around the different controls for the foot. So once you try everything out, and uh, see how it's working. You can go back to the setup rig GUI and add face controls, as well as there are some proxy weights that you can add. Uh, there's a proxy skin there, uh, which will actually make it easier to bind and weight the skin and then copy those weights over to the main skin, which I'm uh, deforming right now. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video because it takes a little while f to load up those proxy weights, uh, but it's all in there and you can try that out. Here I'm going to open up the setup GUI, or actually the main character GUI, uh, which has additional controls. Uh, you could use this for animating your character. Uh, it's got standard controls for selecting the different parts of the character using a uh, sort of a generic picture similar to what you would have in a motion builder. Uh, you also have sliders that are connected to all the channels on the icons. These uh, sliders are actually being generated dynamically. Uh, you don't have to manually do that. It lists all of the channels on the icons, finds out what their limits are, and creates the channels for them. And of course, you also have reset and key buttons to key everything. In addition, there are some extra controls for uh, seeing your keyframes as well as editing those keyframes. 
of course you can hide and show different parts of the rig as well as open up a graph editor and there is something called icon feedback which when turned on is running a script job which will just print out a little bit of of information for the icons when you select them and you can turn that back off and it kills the script job. There's images in this uh, character GUI which makes it easier to uh, animate in some cases uh, but you don't have to use this you could use the regular traditional iconic GUI or you could use the Mel GUI. You can see that when I close this a uh, an icon, a win icon was created that allows you to select it when it's closed and it will open up the uh, character GUI again um, and then it grays it out when it's open so you don't accidentally select it. So that's what you'll learn in my new book Mail Scripting a Character Rig in Maya. I'll take you through this entire process in both the Maya interface as well as in code. Thank you.